News. We have new information on the mass shooting aboard a Greyhound bus in Oroville that left one dead and four others wounded. It happened outside the Oroville AMP gas station at Feather River Boulevard and Orodam Boulevard East. Action News Now reporter Defet Serrato joins us live from Oroville. Defet, what have you learned? Linda, we now know the accused shooter got in the bus from Reading, and as soon as that bus parked next to this AMPM gas station, deputies say he used an illegal gun to fire shots. This is the man we're talking about. His name is Ashindi Coleman. Investigators say he fired at least 10 shots while people were leaving the bus and then ran away. Most of those shots hitting the front seat area and five passengers. One of those passengers died, who we only know was a 43-year-old woman. The other four people who were shot include two men in their 30s, a 25-year-old pregnant woman, and an 11-year-old girl. I talked with a gas station employee here who saw the aftermath. People were hiding in the back of the store. We can't have people back there. And um, it was just really crazy in there. There were a little girl shot over here. I, I don't even know. Like, I went inside and was trying to help. Like, like there were people trying to buy things at the same time. People trying to loot the store. And Before the shooting took place, Sheriff Corey Honey says the shooting suspect was acting agitated and paranoid, stemming from a phone call he received while on the bus. The suspect has been in trouble with the law before. Butte County DA Mike Ramsey says he has a warrant out of Alameda County for possession of a gun, which he's not supposed to have. The suspect, as mentioned, did run away, but deputies found him at the nearby Walmart here and handcuffed him while he was naked. Live in Orville, Chfet Serato, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thank you, Defet. Now, the Greyhound bus where the shots rang out routinely stops at that AMPM gas station. Sheriff Corey Honey says the pregnant woman and one of the men in their 30s that got shot, are, they're in critical condition. The 11-year-old girl is in stable condition, and the other man who was shot had a minor wound. And we do have video showing when the suspect was arrested just minutes after the shooting. This was taken by a viewer inside Walmart in Oroville where a shoddy Coleman was handcuffed by officers. The sheriff's office says several people called 911 to report that he was inside the store. 